Local women are speaking out tonight on the recent breast implant recall. For one, it's given her clarity after some pretty painful symptoms without getting any answers from her doctors. CBS 13's Sharin Roger sat down with both of them and has their stories for us tonight. Sharin? Yeah, Tony and Adrian, a UC Davis plastic surgeon says that these textured implants are only used about by 10% of women, and this cancer is rare. But the news of this recall has certainly left a lot of women in a state of fear and uncertainty. I had a sudden swelling of my breast last summer, and that really made me have to take some sort of action. It's been just two weeks since 50 year old Sacramento mom Jolene Hoddle had her textured allergen breast implants removed due to a series of symptoms she says she'd been experiencing for over a decade with no real answers from doctors. Now, with this recall, it just kind of brought everything full circle for me to realize that all the symptoms I'd been having weren't like in my head. Hoddle says her symptoms range from chronic headaches to aches and pains in her hips and legs to eventually a huge swelling of her breasts. But even with her implants removed, she's now waiting to find out if she has anaplastic large cell lymphoma, the cancer linked to 33 patient deaths since 2010. 25 years ago, if they had handed me a document that said, just by the way, these could cause cancer, you, want, you still want to sign? I. I don't know if my 25-year-old self would have said yes. I don't know. Allergan says the voluntary recall was out of precaution. No. Sacramento plastic surgeon Dr. Granger Wong says in most cases, once the implant is removed... The, the situation is resolved once you remove the implant, which is the offending irritative agent, and you remove the involved tissue. Patient advocate Michelle Forney was diagnosed with the cancer in 2018. She had her textured implants removed and is now cancer-free. But she says the fight is not over. There is a, a lot of fear. Women don't know where to go. Yeah, so the big question is, if you have this implant, what do you do? Well, the FDA is actually not recommending women remove the implant unless you are symptomatic because of the risks.